Hello Summoners and welcome to another Pro Guides video. My name is Christoph and today we're going to be discussing optimal jungle pathing. Navigating through the jungle can be confusing and doing so optimally can be even more confusing. The way this video is going to be organized is first, we'll introduce some different ways to approach your jungle clear, which champions should use them, and then discuss their pros and cons. Afterwards, we'll talk about jungle pathing following your first clear and reacting to the state of the game. Feel free to leave any feedback in the comments down below and let us know what you guys want our next video to be about. But before we get started, if you guys are interested in learning from challenger players, then click the link down below where you can talk to a challenger player immediately and even play a game with them in a normal game. They'll teach you everything that you need to know to get to diamond or higher this season, so don't miss out on the opportunity and click the link below. As we all know, jungling isn't a simple role for countless reasons. We won't go over all those reasons because the laundry list is pretty long, but whichever jungler we decide to choose, we need to make sure that we understand our champion's strengths. Some are better at ganking, some are better at clearing the jungle quickly, and a few are just a lot better at clearing certain monsters efficiently early on. Considering this, it's important to be adaptable, and we want to cover some routes to help you be more effective in your jungle clear. Your first jungle clear is one of the most important, and there's a couple of things we need to talk about. Where you start can determine your pathing from anywhere between the next two or even 10 minutes. Whichever camps you clear first are going to be the ones to spawn first. That means off of your reset, you'll likely need to path back to those first camps that you cleared. Another thing about your first clear is that certain champions are going to be better suited than others for different types of clears. Let's start with the level two gank clear. It's the route that's conceptually the most difficult, but it actually starts off quite simple. First, clear the red buff and then immediately gank a lane. You'll usually either gank mid or the side lane adjacent to your red buff so that you don't waste too much time walking around. Junglers like Xin Zhao and Twitch can use this opener because of their strong level two ganks as they'll almost always lead to kills. Especially with the added damage and slow from red buff, level two ganks can be lethal. It's definitely possible to level two gank after a blue buff start, or even gank the side lane furthest from your red buff. While it may not be efficient, this is exactly why it would catch your opponents off guard. Let's talk about the pros of this gank path. Well, the first one is you get to gank early so your opponents are still level one. Secondly, you can abuse your strong level two power spike. And lastly, you can usually split the map afterwards. If you guys are interested in understanding more about splitting the map, lane priority, and vertical jungling, then check out ProGuides.com using the description link below. We have a ton of resources to help you guys out with that. Some of the cons of this jungle route is that you'll fall a little bit behind during the second jungle clear. Secondly, the opposing jungler will hit level three first. And thirdly, you can't immediately put a rewarding camp like Krugs or Raptors on their respawn timers. Your level two gank clear will usually look something like this. You'll start with red buff, then you'll go to the adjacent side lane and gank. You'll go to the enemy blue buff, get the enemy's Krug, enemy wolves, and then go for scuttle crab. The tricky part about this route is what you end up doing after your level two gank. It's also the route with the most variance as things can change so often based off of the game state. In most cases, the best course of action after a level two gank is to split the map, which is why you're usually taking the enemy blue buff right after your gank. If you level two gank mid, you have less obligation to do so since you're still near either side of your jungle. To help illustrate this, let's use an example. Let's say you're on blue team and decide to level two gank bottom after a red buff start. In this case, the enemy jungler sees you and knows that your topside jungle is vulnerable. It makes sense for them to start pathing and taking your topside camps since you're on the opposite side of the map. You can decide to path there anyway, but you'll probably find that one or two of your camps are already gone. Alternatively, off of that gank, you can try to invade the enemy's bot side jungle since it's closer to you than your own top side. This saves you time and allows you to start farming jungle camps faster. If the enemy jungler decides to path downward to stop you, you've probably already stolen some camps and your bot lane should have priority since you ganked for them. To sum it up, after a level two gank, it's usually the optimal play for both junglers to try to split the map. Do note, however, that you do need to be adaptable with this pathing. There are modifications that you might need to make depending on the game state. The other adaptation to this route is if you decide to gank mid instead of a side lane. In this case, you need to take into consideration which side of the jungle your opponent started. You can determine this by either early warding or with an educated guess based on which lane leashed. 
If they started on the same side of the map as you, and your laners have priority, you can look to invade the enemy jungle after you gank. If they started on the opposite side, you would want to transition into a standard clear through your own jungle. Alright, with the hard one out of the way, let's breeze through the rest. Next up is a 3 camp clear. This route allows you to reach level 3 off of only 3 camps. Junglers who clear quickly, who handle Krugs and Raptors well, or those who want an early recall for Predator boots can take advantage of this route. The best part about this route is that there's a lot of versatility and you're clearing your Krugs and Raptors, which are the two highest value camps in the jungle. Let's go over some pros of this route. Well, the first one is that it's the fastest way to hit level 3. By clearing your Krugs and Raptors, you get a ton of XP and you don't bother wasting time with a gank, so you get to level 3 faster. Secondly, you can transition into either a gank, a reset, or a full clear. And finally, it's also a good way to get boots of speed quickly for Predator. Now these are some great pros of this clear, but some of the cons are that not every jungler can do this route effectively. Make sure you find out which ones can and cannot do this route properly. You want to find a jungler with some good early game clear. The second con is that you expose the other side of your jungle. But neither of these cons are really that significant. This is a very efficient route with not many weaknesses, so feel free to use it as long as your champion is able to do so. Adapt the route based on which lane you want to gank, and also based off which lanes present gank opportunities. So, the route looks something like this. Start with your red buff, go to Raptors, then go to Krugs, and then reset or gank a side lane. Or you can start your Raptors, then go to red buff, then go to Krugs, and then reset or gank a side lane. Or you could start red buff, go Krugs, go Raptors, and then gank mid, or do your full clear. Alright, on to our next route. This route is the single target level 3 clear. The next route is a route designed for champions who deal better damage to solo camps. It's a route that's easier for junglers who have terrible times with Krugs and Raptors. Think about characters like Rengar and Twitch. You can use this clear to still have a solid gank pressure while also getting you enough gold to buy Hunter's Talisman to assist you in your future jungle clears. This route serves as an alternative to the 3 camp clear for champions who still want to hit level 3 quickly and then gank. The pros of this is that you can hit level 3 and then gank. Another pro is that almost any jungler can use this route, even ones with poor camp clear in the early game. Some of the cons of this route is that you don't clear Raptors and Krux, which are the most valuable camps. Another con is that your opponent can counter jungle these camps you left up. To use this route, here's what you'll want to do. You'll want to start your red buff, then go to Wolves, then blue buff, then Gromp, and then Scuttle or gank. Or you can blue buff, Gromp, Wolves, red buff, and then scuttle or gank. Okay, so with the more aggressive jungle routes out of the way, we still need to start talking about defensive ones. Let's start off with the blue buff start. This is designed for champions like Karthus, Olaf, or Elise. For most junglers, a red buff start is more effective because the extra damage will allow them to clear their jungle more quickly. But for some other junglers, who prefer mana and cooldown reduction from blue buff, this will be their first clear. What we want to discuss first with this route is that sometimes you'll still need to take this route even if a red buff start is preferred for your champion. The reason for this is something we refer to as a weak side versus a strong side. There are going to be many cases where one of your lanes can't provide any pressure because of their matchup. That's your weak side of the map. If you end up pathing down to your weak side and the enemy jungler invades you, you're out of luck because your teammates can't help. This is why it's usually most optimal to start in your weak side and path to your strong side. By doing so, you have your laners who can help assist you and potentially even save you. Another reason why you might want to take this route is because you're trying to mirror the enemy jungler's pathing. If, for example, you think that your opponent is trying to camp either your bot lane or top lane, you'll start on the same side as their red buff and clear in the same direction as well. By the time they finish their clear and try to gank a lane, you're on the same side to counter gank or protect your teammate. Some of the pros of this path is that it's great for mana hungry junglers. Another one is that it allows you to mirror your opponent. You also get to have red buff later, so you could have it for a level 4 gank, which is very popular for a lot of these champions. And then lastly, you could easily transition into a full clear. Some of the cons are that it's not the most effective route for many junglers. It's really only designed for those mana intensive junglers like Karthus. Secondly, as a slower level 3 since Gromp, blue buff, and wolves don't give you enough XP for it. So here's the jungle path. First, you're going to start with blue buff. Then you're going to go to Gromp, 
then wolves, then red buff, and then finally take the scuttle or gank. Or you'll just start your blue buff and then go for a full clear. All right, let's go into the last basic clear we'll discuss in this guide. It's the full clear. Think Master Yi, Kane, Nocturne, and Amumu. It's a player versus environment route with a little interaction with the map, but it allows you to maximize your farm. While it's considered power farming, it doesn't mean you're not allowed to gank. You're definitely able to deviate anytime you see a chance to, and you can also gank after finishing your final jungle camp. Champions with great clear speed and or weak gank potential before six can take advantage of this route. Some of the pros to this route are that it's the fastest way to clear the jungle. Also, you can gank at the end of it without losing anything. It'll also net you a tempo advantage versus enemies who clear slowly or fail to gank. And lastly, it suits junglers who don't want to fight early. Some of the cons are that your teammates might get a little mad at you. Everyone wants you to gank for them, and if you're gonna be busy farming, they're gonna get pretty pissed off. Secondly, fitting in a scuttle crab can often be awkward with this path. And finally, you won't have much map pressure for your first clear. A lot of your laners are going to have to be self-sufficient before you hit level six. What we wanted to draw attention to is that if you power farm and don't gank, you don't have much map pressure. But this isn't something to feel bad about because if you're choosing this route, it's probably because your champion wouldn't be able to find a successful gank anyway. The alternative would be wasting your time for ganks you can't pull off or finding yourself in skirmishes that you lose because of a very weak early game. So here's the route. You're gonna start with blue buff, then you're gonna go to your gromp, then wolves, raptors, red, krugs, scuttle, and then gank or reset. Or you could start your red buff, then go to krugs, raptors, wolves, blue buff, gromp, scuttle, and then gank or reset. Okay, so with initial jungle routes aside, another thing we need to address is the most efficient way to farm on successive clears. No matter which champion you're playing, clearing from one side to the other is always the most efficient in terms of farming XP and gold. This is because it's the fastest way to full clear a jungle and ensures that you'll have steady income. Whenever you completely clear a camp, it immediately starts its two minute and 30 second respawn timer. This is important to note because that means to acquire the most resources possible from your jungle, you need to clear your camps as soon as they respawn. This isn't always possible, but you want to leave the option open whenever possible. You're playing League of Legends, not Farming Simulator. Once you add scuttle crabs, skirmishes, and ganks into the mix, you're not always going to be able to get there at the moment your camp spawns. This opens up opportunities to change which way you want to path. Whenever you want to gank for a certain lane, you should try to start your following jungle paths on the opposite side. By doing so, you can clear your entire jungle, gank the lane you want to, and then recall so you can farm your camps again once they spawn. All right, finally, let's talk about those neutral monsters. Scuttle Crab, Dragon, and Rift Herald. Scuttle Crab is probably the easiest one to talk about. Taking this monster depends heavily on which lanes have lane priority. If your team has lane priority near the Scuttle Crab you want, just feel free to take it. Alternatively, if you feel that your opponent has no threat of taking it because they're too weak, or that they're on the other side of the map, then you can leave it up. The reason you'd want to leave it up is that so you can clear your jungle optimally first, and then take the crab. In this scenario, you already recognize the enemy jungler can't take it away from you, so you don't need to walk out of your your jungle, take it, and then walk back into it. It just makes more sense to clear that entire side first before you take the scuttle crab, which will still be there. In cases where you want scuttle crab, but your laners don't have priority, it's important to know when to concede it. Understand that sometimes you simply can't get everything you want, and instead make some other play to compensate. You can continue your jungle path, gank, take a reset, or start the neutral objective on the opposite side if you know that your opponent is taking scuttle. For the first scuttle spawn, you can concede one and then go after the other. When taking Dragon or Rift Herald, note that it's still possible to be efficient about it. You'll want to clear as many camps as you can before starting one of these objectives. If you don't, your opponent can punish you by counter jungling your entire side opposite from that objective, and then follow it up by starting the other. But in fact, the exact opposite holds true. If your opponent randomly starts Dragon or Rift Herald, you can either contest it or instead take the safer option by counter jungling and then starting the other one. Deciding to start either of these, like Scuttle Crab, depends heavily on lane priority. If you see that your laners have priority by the end of one of your clears, you can definitely attempt to start either of these objectives. The other option is to gank for one of your lanes to create a numbers or pressure advantage, and then use that to strong arm whichever one you're near. 
For example, if you want to take Infernal Dragon, the most optimal way to do so is to start from your topside jungle. Either clear your topside camps and gank mid, or full clear your jungle and then gank bottom. If there aren't gank opportunities, take note of whether your bot and mid have lane priority, because if they do, you can still start the dragon. Alright, so let's recap. For your first jungle clear, take into consideration what your champion is best at, and also which side you need to be on. Secondly, sometimes you need to defend a lane, or you need to path away from your weak side of the map so you don't get invaded. Third, remember that clearing from one side to the other before you gank is the best way to maximize your farm. And lastly, when aiming to take neutrals, you can still be efficient about it by clearing in a way that allows you to gank the lanes you want. All right, guys, that concludes our jungle pathing guide. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, then click subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. If you got some value out of this video, then click that like button. Also, check out proguides.com. Use the description link below to get some challenger coaching today. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck in your next few games, and we'll see you on the Rift.